Doodle Jump. Remember that popular game from 2011? That little alien guy who endlessly jumps on platforms and whose name is apparently Doodler? Weird name. Anyways, Royale Clashers here commented on a previous video asking to make an AI for this game. So Royale Clashers, hope you're watching because this is for you, baby. Doodle Jump is a pretty simple game. You have your main character, the Doodler guy, and you have some randomly positioned platforms, cool items like a jetpack or propeller that spawn on them, and then you also have monsters or aliens, whatever they are, that randomly spawn along the way. That's essentially it. So without further ado, before we make the AI, we have to make the game. Let's go. Okay, three, two, one, box. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let there be gravity. Boom, green rectangle, put them all together, we have a box, we have gravity, and we have a green platform. I know, I know, you don't have to mention it, I am truly a spectacle when it comes to game development. Time to add some movement code to our little box, and also let's add a few more platforms to make our dude bounce. Oh wait, what? It's working. Oh, okay, yep, never mind. <sighs> yeah, I should have expected that. There we go, that's better. Now, in the Doodle Jump game, as the player progresses and goes higher and higher, random platforms will start to spawn from the left side to the right side. This is pretty simple. We just check how much the player has increased their height from their previous best height, and if it's greater than a certain value we set, then we say, please spawn a platform now, and that's it. So I'll quickly add this in for now, and I'll just create the regular green platforms with nothing special to them, but later on we'll add some cooler platforms. Oh, and also we have to make sure the camera follows the player as their height goes up, which is almost the same like the platform code. When the player goes past their best height, increase the camp. You know, actually, what am I doing? You guys don't actually give a shit. Let's just watch it in action. Woohoo! Yes, sir, look at this. This is literally doodle jump already, is it not? Ah. Just beautiful. Now I know it's quite hard to tell, but believe it or not, it doesn't actually look like Doodle Jump just yet. So before we continue adding stuff, let's just rip the artwork from the original game because I'm too lazy to draw. And let's just shang it into my game. Cue the time lapse. Okay, I know I just stole the assets, but like, that looks so good. Oh, and I also added in a score counter. Okay, now it's time to add all the other stuff in Doodle Jump. Right now, we only have the regular green platforms, but in the original game, there's blue platforms that constantly move, white platforms that disappear when bounced on, brown platforms that break when the player touches them, and then there's like two more platforms, but they're so rare to encounter in the original game, I don't even think it's worth it to add it into my game. But before I get started adding those, I get a lot of comments from people asking how I can learn to code. How can I learn AI? So I want to introduce today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is the perfect place to go if you want to get started learning programming, computer science, maths, and AI. And if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in that. It's also very useful for learning core concepts in game development, such as vectors. If you're making literally any game, you're using vectors. Doodle jump bouncing on platforms, that uses vectors. Flappy bird flapping, vectors. Dinosaur jumping, more vectors. And Brilliant has the perfect course to learn all about vectors and other related math required for learning AI and game development. And Brilliant is amazing because it uses interactive learning so you can fully visualize and reinforce the information you learn. And if you want to get started learning how to make a neural network, which is a fundamental component of the AI I use in my videos, Brilliant also has an amazing course for that. And that's just scratching the surface from the tons of other courses on top of that, which will raise your IQ above 200. So if you want to check it out for free for a full 30 days, and support your man out, visit brilliant.org forward slash Tyler Momsen or just click on the link in the description and you'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. All right, back to the video. Let's get started adding these platforms. The brown ones are dead easy. Just break them if the player touches them. Done. The white ones, these are similar to the brown ones, but they allow the player to jump at least once on the platform before they disappear. And finally, the big bad blue boys. They spawn in and move constantly back and forth to each side, which Add some nice movement to the game. All right, let's play it and give it a test. Nice, we got our brown shitty platform, got our moving blue platform, and where is it? There it is, our white disappearing platform. Wow, they actually all work. That's a first. Now, obviously these other platforms don't spawn immediately. So later on, I'll just add some random probability chance of them spawning at certain player scores. And I'm sure I could play the original game over and over again and find out the exact chances, blah, blah, blah. But who do you think I am? I'll just make up my own numbers. Okay, platforms are done. Next up, we got the little items that the players can touch or hit along the way to gain height much faster. So we got the spring, we got the propeller, and we got the jetpack, baby. Now I'm not going to waste too much time explaining these. It's basically just like 
player touches him, so player equals go up more. That's it. Okay, we have the spring. That's working perfect. We have the propeller. That's working good, 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 good. And here's the jetpack. Oh shit, nope, there's two jetpacks. Perfect. Okay, and last but not least, before we add the AI, we have to add the monsters or aliens. I, I, I don't even know what they are. The creatures that spawn along the way as the player progresses up. Now there's like a million and one variations of these creatures. So I'm just going to use these two cute lads from my game and they just hover in their spot when they spawn. And obviously, if the player touches them, the player dies. Okay, yep, that's pretty much it. The AI I'll be adding for Doodle Jump is called NEAT, which stands for Neuro Evolution of Augmenting Topologies. Fancy, I know. Basically, it's like genetic evolution in real life. You get a whole bunch of players, wait for them to do something, they do something good, force them to have babies, and hope their babies are better. And if they do something bad, murder them. And how do the players decide to move? For this AI, I'll be giving them a total of 27 inputs, their X and Y velocity, and then 10 rays to detect platforms, 9 rays to detect monsters, and 6 rays to detect items. Using those inputs, they decide whether to move left, move right, shoot or do nothing. And that is pretty much it guys. That should produce some players who are very good at jumping and killing monsters. Let's see the AI in action, baby. So for this AI, I'm segmenting the learning into three stages to help them learn. First, there'll be no monsters or items, just platforms so they can properly learn how to jump from platform to platform. And later on, I'll introduce the other stuff. This is just so they can learn each thing individually before all of them are put together. Okay, looks like at generation five, they can successfully jump from each platform, but constantly move left. But hey, if, if it works, it works. Okay, let's go into the second stage of learning. Let's introduce the monsters and I will add a ton of them. They are really struggling to adjust. Okay, finally, at generation 71. Jeez, that took a while. I have finally learned how to shoot the monsters. Okay, now at generation 72, I will change the monster spawn rate, put it back to normal and introduce the items. So basically just regular doodle jump now, guys. 
Let's see how far these bad boys can go. You know what? I think let's try go for 100,000. I think that's a pretty good number. Hell yeah, 100,000, baby. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Oh my god, that took so long to do. Whew. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and also, if you want to see like specific games or whatever done, be sure to drop suggestions in the comments. I'm all ears and I'll keep in mind for a future video. See ya.